Welcome. Today we're going to be going through Nick Software's Vivisa. Uh, absolutely excellent program. I really love this and I think you're going to too. This is the portrait we're going to work on and it, it's not a bad portrait to start with but here's what I want to do is make this a little bit more punched up, a little bit more compelling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, brighten up this side of the face slightly and darken the background lighting here and then I want to make this side of the face slightly darker darker and then make this slightly brighter so that lighting on the face is actually a mirror image of what it is in the background and that's kind of an effect I, I particularly like in portraits. Okay, I've got this installed as a plug in Photoshop so I'm going to go ahead and click on filter first and then I get the big old drop down menu when I hit that so I'll click on filter, Nick Software, the Visa and we get right into our interface. There we go. The portrait is back again. Uh, okay, let's run through this a little bit. Uh, you get a couple of different viewing options. Number one, this is just the whole image itself and you'll see all your changes. You've got this kind of split preview thing here which is really cool because what you can do is come in here and grab and slide that line and see the before and after effect wherever you want that to come in. And then you have your before on top and after on the bottom also if you like that. Let's go ahead and just look at our one image. Now here are some of the controls you get over here. You get the add control point. These things are really valuable. You get this in all of uh, Nick Software's different programs and we're going to be going through exactly how these things work. They're, I really, really love them. Uh, you have sliders over here for all your different adjustments. And down here on the bottom you also have the loop view which is really valuable. So if I bring my cursor into the image you'll see the 100% blow up of the before and after which is never a bad idea. You should always be looking at your 100%. Okay, now what I'm going to do is let's start getting to work here and I'm going to drop some uh, control points into the image and play it around with them. Okay, let me click that. Add a control point. Let's put one right in there. Now here, you're, now here, you could either on the right side of your interface move these sliders independently and manually or you can just work right off here. And I kind of like these so I'm going to work with these. You've got brightness, contrast, saturation and structure. Uh, this guy is simply to move it around. When you click it on, on it you can see how big of an area you're affecting. And I want to drag this slider down a little bit to control that size and then click and move that around a little bit there and then I do want to bring this brightness down a little bit now not being incredibly unhappy with this image to start with I, I think what pays is just to make really really subtle changes I don't want to make big changes brightness do I want to do anything with the contrast maybe got to be careful when you're working with skin and portraits you don't want it you don't want to be ramping up contrast too much. It'll bring out, you know, um, things in the skin that you don't want. It'll just start taking on a texture that won't look very pleasing. Saturation, again, is another one you need to be real careful with, uh, whether it's in Photoshop or anything else. It's real easy to just go radioactive with this. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the structure is kind of cool. Now again, this being skin, I don't think I'm going to play with that a little bit too much. You can get some uh, nice effects on that actually in, in images possibly other than skin. Bring that down a little bit. Okay, now I need to drop other control points. So what I'm going to do is just hold down the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac, click on that and just bring my other guy right in over here. Be a little bit larger. Oops, why did you do that, you little knucklehead? I want you sort of right over there. There you go. Click on that, enlarge that just a bit. Okay, it left a control point over there. Oh, I forgot to release the Alt key. What a jerk. Anyway, I'm still going to be able to use this one nicely. Let's just darken up this area right over here first. There we go. There we go. Nice. Darken that up. Now, I accidentally placed one here. Let's just go ahead and click on that. That's going to be the brighten. So I want to brighten this a little bit. I'm going to pull down the size of that a bit. 
There we go. And pick up the brightness of that a little bit. All the other settings are carried along with it when you move it, right? So all the other saturation and the rest of it. Let's go ahead and I don't want to over crank this too much, but let's go ahead and leave that there. Alrighty. Now what I need to do is brighten up this area here. I want a nice kind of uh, highlight over here. So I'll hold down the Alt key or again the Option key on a Mac. Click and drag and release the Alt key or the Option key. Good man. I figured it out. How's the size of this doing? Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe down a little bit more. And I kind of like this brightness here. Let's move that up a little bit. Well, wow, that looks real weird. I don't want to do that. I want to bring that up. That's pretty good. You know what it is, is the contrast. Bring my contrast down on this guy. Yeah. Bring the saturation down a little bit on this one. Not too much. I still want some of that yellow in there. The structure, maybe I want that down. Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Bring up the lightness a little bit. There we go. I wonder if I should make this even look just a little bit bigger. Yeah, not bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. This video is for demonstration purposes anyway. I think I would take more than, you know, a minute and a half to polish this thing off per perfectly uh, if it was just doing it all alone. But um, that's about it. Now, you don't want to look at your image with all, all this stuff on it. So you just click kind of anywhere and those sliders go away. And then when you move your cursor off the image itself, um, all the little control points disappear. I can see this one's a little bit too bright. Um, but otherwise, not too bad. Again, I would fine tune this to punch it up a little bit more. But that's the basic idea that I like on this. And... Um, yeah, that's, that's, that'll, that'll just about do it. Maybe bring that brightness down just a little bit, little bit there. Okay, good. Click anywhere to get rid of that. Go off the screen. Not bad. Looks uh, better than before, I'll tell you that much. Um, now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, there's another little option down here on the bottom which is really, really fantastic. This is the brush option, so let me click on that. And now, what happens is we jump right back into Photoshop, right? Now, we jump into Photoshop. Now, I get all these cool options over here. What I can do is, you see there's no effect, right? Now what I can do is quick paint, choose a paintbrush, and paint the effect in so I can get even more control over exactly what's going on here. So I've got a brush selected now. And one thing I can do is change the opacity of the brush so I could bring in the effect slowly. And that kind of is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag the opacity of that brush down, as you can see, to about 67%, something like that. So I can bring this in really selectively now. Uh, got a nice brush tip set, which I like. I can bring this in, just paint, and the effect will slowly come in. Okay, coming in a little bit there, right? So I can really control where I want this to come in. And one thing, again, if I were doing this again slowly and a lot more carefully than I am now is, I would not go over this area because when I darkened up, it darkened up a little bit over here. Anyway, we paint over here. It'll bring in the brightening. And I do want that to brighten up a little bit there. And then I'm going to ramp that opacity all the way up to 100%. Bring my brush up a little bit bigger. And I'm going to just, boom, come right in here and kill this stuff. And don't touch the t-shirt. Really fabulous. And I can do the same thing right over here to bring that in as I like. Just absolutely love it. Love this. I really, really love this program. I can't say enough about it. And then, of course, I can erase if I want to. I can do some fill, clear. I like it the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. 
And then after all that happens, what you can see is the program has automatically put everything up on its own layer with a layer mask so I can go back and play around with this even more if I want to. I'm telling you, I, like, I, like I said, I, I can't say enough that I can't say enough about this program. Really, really love the visa. Okay, good. Have a lot of fun with this. Get the trial version or just go ahead and buy the thing. It's really, really worth it uh, for uh, excellent selective adjustments to your images. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.